So, anyways, uh, this, this virus is actually transmitted from a person to person by sneezing, by coughing. So, if you see a person who has high grade fever with respiratory disorders and cough, uh, try to limit contact with them. Will you get a coronavirus if you are standing in the same room at a distance of about five feet from the person? Well, certainly that the chances are very low until unless the guy actually literally spits on your face. Uh, which I know nobody is going to do. So that at that moment, maybe you have a chance, but standing close to someone who is infected will not get you infected directly. Yes, if you are sharing things with them, if you are exchanging particular article, uh, articles with them, if you are sharing uh, any household items with them and the person is highly infected, so then you are at a risk of getting the transmission from uh, his disease. So I would ask you guys to restrict. Coming up to next is um, we have we have people buying masks, people stocking up masks. Uh, a, a normal surgical mask which costs about 10 to 15 rupees is being sold for 50 to 100 rupees. A lot of misinformation about masks is that it might help protect against the virus. The truth is it is not going to protect about uh, it is not going to protect you from any virus. The particular size of COVID-19 virus is too small to be uh, you know filtered out by any sort of mask even if, even if it is N95 or N96 whatever or a normal surgical mask. So do you need a mask? Maybe maybe not. Uh, it is all a matter of personal hygiene. The second recommendation that WHO has done is to not touch your nose, your mouth or your eyes frequently. So if you are in an open environment and if there is outbreak in your city or whatever, if you are wearing a glasses for eye protection and if you are wearing a mask and even if you are wearing a glove or so, you will restrict <coughs> You will restrict the contact with your eyes and nose and mouth again and again if you are wearing a mask. So that is a positive note. But if you think wearing a mask and wearing glasses is enough and it won't affect you, the virus won't affect you, well, uh, it is totally false. So it doesn't work like that. Keeping the person in isolation, that is the best way. Home isolation, quarantine, that is the best way. So even if you are, uh, if you think that you have some symptoms, so I suggest you go and get tested. The government of India is doing primary and secondary level testing out of their own pocket. They are not going to charge you of anything, whatever hospital or district civil hospital. Uh, is helping you out in this outbreak go to them get yourself tested and see for the results it all it's all paid by the government you don't have to pay for it uh, next is uh, what about the shortage of supplies so uh, with the closure of educational institutes malls restaurants and all sort of things see i would suggest you don't dine out don't use much of uh, this Zomato or Swiggy or any other food delivery services because uh, I suggest you prepare your own food. That is the best way to keep yourself safe and not get infected. Uh, but anyhow, even if you see some symptoms, mild symptoms, you have to restrict your travel. You have to uh, keep yourself in isolation and don't interact with uh, unnecessarily with other people. Uh, so one, one thing I want to add is which actually disturbed me a lot. And when initially in this video I talked about that I didn't expect this virus to come to India uh, in such a short time and cause an outbreak was because I expected Chinese government to take strict measures and they did. They did a great job. But there are these moron category of people, these stupid category of people who actually came from the other countries. They were asked to go through a primary level of inspection at airports or whatsoever. They tested positive for coronavirus, not especially COVID-19, but it could be COVID-19 and they decided to flee away from the hospital. We have seen high, uh, you know, headlines and reports. Uh, a lady from uh, uh, from Bangalore, her husband, and she was tested pos positive for uh, coronavirus. She flew from Bangalore to Delhi in a flight, infecting hundreds of co-passengers. And later on, she took a train from Delhi to Agra and went to her uh, her maternal maternal home. And now the situation is that Agra has reported seven cases of coronavirus positive and all that seven people are from that particular family. So she came with the virus from her honeymoon in Italy. She came to Bangalore, got tested positive. She flee the scene. She flee from the hospital and infected hundreds of people on the way and infected her whole family. Another case I want to uh, point out is from my very own state, people from uh, maybe Gulf countries, seven people were suspected because they didn't undergo primary level testing. 
those people flew from their homes. They are underground. Nobody knows where they are. They must be hiding somewhere, you know, at, at, at a hotel or maybe at a place of a relative. They are actually putting their family and relatives and other people that they communicate with at higher risk. So what if you are tested positive for COVID-19 or coronavirus. Well, if you are positive, then you have to take measures. You have to isolate yourself. Or you have to get admitted into a hospital where they can keep you in isolation and see that your symptoms don't get worse. Running away from coronavirus is not an option for you. Where are you going to run? Do you think if you run from your city, your coronavirus will become negative automatically? No, it's not going to happen, people. So <clears throat> taking good measures of hygiene, covering your face or covering your mask. So now suppose there is a shortage in mask. You do not have any mask or gloves or anything. So I suggest you use a normal handkerchief, a normal hand, dip it into a disinfecting water into Dettol or Savlon or, Savlon or any such thing. Dip it, wash in it, and then you can, you know, sun dry it or you can iron it. You can use that to cover your face. It's perfectly fine. It will do the job that a surgical mask is doing for people who have surgical masks. So even if you don't have mask, you can use your hanky. The hanky should be clean. Avoid going to gatherings. This is something that a lot of people might burn me for. Uh, I am a man of faith. Okay, I respect my religion a lot. I follow my religion. I respect everybody practicing any faith. But this is a request to all of you guys. Please do not, please do not attend any religious ceremonies, any mass gatherings. I have seen people uh, making a mockery out of uh, many churches that have actually banned their congregations and uh, even even in Makkah which is actually a big huge step and hats off to uh, hats off to the Muslims who took this decision they have banned that the tourists are not allowed to perform uh, their prayers in the Makkah only the local people in a small restricted number will be there so I expect the same thing to be done in India also all the pilgr pilgrimages of uh, of Indian cities and of all religions, they should actually ask people to not hold any big ceremonies, do not gather in huge numbers. You have to restrict the amount of uh, people coming into the shrine and so that this can uh, spread enough. This has to be contained. A lot of bigotry and uh, foolishness is being going on uh, by, by so-called religious people that, you know, chant of this mantra and it will help you or get a dip in this holy water or drink uh, anything cow urine you know, or drink this holy water and it will help you. Nothing such will help you. Don't make a fool out of yourselves. I respect every religion. I am a man of faith, but this is sheer foolishness. So please do not fall for this. So now coming back to, again, I was talking about uh, vaccination and re-emission and the nature of virus. So all these things are unclear. We don't know if someone recovering from a COVID-19 virus now will get a re-emission from this virus. So all these things are unclear. So the another thing that I wanted to add into this video is some people are spreading such amount of such rubbish type of news that once the weather changes, once the temperature gets high, the coronavirus is going to become in a dormant state. It is going to get killed by sun rays and so and so. See, coronavirus is from the family of common cold virus and the family of SARS and MERS virus. A very simple question to analyze this myth do you get cold in summers the answer is yes in the past i have experienced symptoms of cold and flu and fever in summers so if a common cold virus is not being killed by high temperatures then how can you expect a covid 19 virus to be deactivated certainly with this high heat temperature so it is totally false the summers are not going to protect us from the COVID-19. We can't say anything about it. Uh, but the thing is now coming to the um, um, field where I practice is when it comes to diet and nutrition, how can you increase your chances of uh, not getting infected? And even if you are infected, how to get the best results with minimum amount of damage? So we have to see that uh, the coronavirus is actually not infecting kids a lot. That is a good thing. School going ages, uh, age kids, they are not being infected that much. Young people are not being infected that much. People who are being infected are especially people who are 40, 45 years of plus age. But it doesn't mean it can't affect anybody. It can affect anybody. 